What's up, Fire Nation? It's your boy Rico, along with my little big cousin G Baby and our boy Raul, the zookeeper. And we are the Friendly Fire Podcast, the hottest podcast on either side of the Mississippi, episode 23, baby. Yeah. 23. We are back. Yeah, let's go. Goat. The Jordan episode. The Goat episode. So, so, fellas, it's been a minute. It's been a long time. It's been a long man. time. Been a Shouldn't have left. <laughs> How we, we doing? Uh, pretty good now that you back from the <laughs> Golden Gates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hollywood, Hollywood, right. nigga. Walk of Fame right. over um, here. <laughs> nah, Rico wasn't even going to call me. He, he had a call. He had to call Spike Lee, you know, ask for the, pro- the PJ. He doesn't even call the private just I got a call from Denzel saying, yeah, Rico ain't going to be there today. I was there. He can't even call me no more. I was there. That's Dang. crazy. Yeah, my, my, my assistant in Washington. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't even get invited to the ring ceremony. Yeah. So the star, none of that. He got a death row chain and everything. I was mad at her. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, but I am glad to be back. We first of all, don't get on me because you gonna randomly text the group chat. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I got vacation next week. Man. What is going on? How do you not remind us ahead of time when your vacation is? Amen. Sorry, superstar. Yeah. You, I told you that, I told y'all, I told the audience a month ahead of time. Hey y'all. I told my assistant to let y'all assistants know. <laughs> I, I let y'all yeah, know. My people August, told your people. Yeah, and my people told y'all people that hey, <laughs> a month in advance. <laughs> Hey. And Zoo gonna hit the group chat. Oh, I forgot. I'm going on vacation next week. What do you mean yeah. you forgot? Like, for two you weeks. know, the schedule's too busy. You know? <laughs> I, I catch flights not feeling. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> Muzz going one date with Zendaya. Don't know how to act. <laughs> <laughs> you matter. You ain't even connect the dots. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, uh, man. But I will dig deep into everything with the movie and everything on our next episode. Mm. Uh, but let's talk about. Just our, overall, our bo- we're giving out two episodes. Two episodes. Two episodes. Bonus so, episodes. Bonus episodes bonus because episode. Zoo about to leave us for we're, we're ranking some Bahama IG Mama models. or something. We got <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy draft IG model. Anyway, uh, let, let's let's start off strong. What we got first? How much we selling the docket for? It's been a minute. It's been a minute, and uh, y'all need to look up what Michael Jordan last contract was. I think it was like thirty-four million. Thirty-four million. That's what we selling this one for. Thirty-four million because we goaded. Hey, we it's are twenty-three, goated. And, and we got a re-up from last week. So. Yeah, we gonna have three straight fire episodes, and we gonna oh have two mid episodes. Three peaks. We come back for another three, <laughs> and then we gonna end it out pretty mid for the rest of that. Yeah. <laughs> With a thirty, we need a wizard here. We got we got some we wizards got some here. wizards here <laughs> down the line. Stick around with us. But I, uh, did you have any questions? Anybody oh, have any I questions did, or I tweets? Did have, I All did right. have a question of the day. Oh. What is the most underrated song from one of your favorite artists? Ah, mm. damn. Which of my favorite artists? Am I just anybody. Pick? Just pick. You can pick <laughs> one or two. We got yeah, time. you know, you be talking about uh, what's that dude name? Uh, Yachty a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's your dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. your guy. Heck, you know, <laughs> Lil Boat. Lil Lil Boat. Boat. <laughs> M- M- Mr. Zoo, what is what is one of Kanye's Damn. most underrated songs? Underrated. You, yeah. It's a trick question. Can't be answered. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> all rated answer. so highly. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'll probably uh, hold my liquor on Yeezus. Okay. Uh, all right. That was a standout for me the first time really? I listened to it. Yeah, I really like that song. Okay. G Baby, which one of Tupac or Nas's? Songs is, is is one of the most underrated songs oh, in your yeah, opinion. Pretty much all the Tupac catalog. If he's not the greatest of all time <laughs> in anybody's conversation, I thought he was gonna get us with the Jay Z's track. Ooh. Oh he's no! Gonna say Dead Presidents or something. No, I, I, I love Dead President. Oh, I, okay. I love Dead President. Don't get me wrong. I, Reasonable Doubt is that album. I, like, I love Reasonable Doubt, but I don't know. Uh, he's gonna say Black Republican. <laughs> I, I wasn't a fan of that song. Really? I wasn't really a fan of that song. It, it seems kind of forced. Uh-huh. Like, okay, let me do a song with this nigga. <laughs> it was just kind of just so they, everybody can shut up and say we friends type stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, Nas got a track called Jero of Rap, and my brother was the one kind of put me on to it. Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. But it's got like one of it's got this weird scat boot bat 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 beat, <laughs> and it, it's a real turn off. Like it doesn't. It's not the world's greatest beat, uh-huh. but what he's saying on the track, like yeah. he's really spitting on that track. Yeah, really, and I'm like. A lot of people are gonna turn away from it because the beat is kind of trash. So yeah. his his lyrics override the best. Yeah, the if you can like overpower the beat, mm-hmm. like you go, like, oh, that's a decent little Nas song. And then when you listen to it, the beat's not the worst. It's just not the best. It's not Dead President too. Is it like a it's a Nas beat? beat. Yeah. And no, he's just kind of flowing. You're you not know? a fan of Nas's uh, beat selection. It wasn't the world's greatest, but the lyrics <laughs> made up for it a lot of the time. They really carry. Okay. They really I've did. Never, I've never asked you this quick question. Did you like the Nas and Kanye collab album? 
No, I wasn't a fan of He's it. Not. I, wasn't a, I couldn't even. I, and I was, I was trying to, and then I was like, nah, this wasn't the one. You didn't like cop shot the kid? No, nah, that, that beat was kind of like, bad. I, I like that beat, actually. I, 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 like, I like the sample. It's a, it didn't fit him rapping. Really? It didn't fit him. And it, it kind of goes on too long. It's a long song for that beat. Is it? It's kind of it's like a I've only heard track. it like once. I would have liked to hear Illmatic Nas on that beat. Hmm. More so than well defined. I hang out with Davies, Nas, <laughs> <laughs> billionaire. Well, multi millionaire yeah. Nas. Speaking yeah. of Davies, the the Wu Tang season two is coming out. Soon. Oh is. yeah! It Shout is. out. Uh, we'll give you a review. Maybe a week by week. I'm gonna have to check it out. We'll I'm, have to do week I'm, by, I'm, I'm check a binge season? season one, and then I'm gonna catch up. Yeah, uh, I was really three. surprised. Everybody got down in that. I was upset. Deck uh, Joey Badass isn't coming back as Inspector Deck. I thought that was like a perfect. Yeah, he sound like but he's got an Oscar now and he's he's raising (laughs) Kanan. He's doing a good job in that show. Mm, More on that if y'all want. Did they get somebody to replace him then? Oh, for uh, on the Wu Tang show, yeah. Okay, 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 cool. Uh, for my answer, I think one of my favorite artists, um, most underrated songs or underappreciated songs, J Cole got a track on his um on one of his uh, Revenge of the Dreamers albums called Folgers Crystals, and it's just like him just rapping. I really like that for whatever reason. I just I like the beat, and I just like he he just just went in. Did his verse and got off. It wasn't like nothing. he didn't draw it out too long. Yeah. I think it was a very really good verse. And I I had I memorized it. I, I randomly saw a video of him performing it in concert. I'm like, dang, I like this beat. What's this song? I looked it up. I'm like, dang, like that, that was a. It, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. What'd uh, you say it was called? Folgers crystals, like Folgers, like the coffee, like the coffee? crystals. Yeah. Oh, we got Folgers at our job. I'm gonna play it with a cup. <laughs> Folgers on Folgers. Ooh, put, si- y'all, put si- y'all on. Yo, yo, <laughs> s- send me that feature so I can turn it down, yeah. J Cole. Let me go. <laughs> they, they didn't read between the lines. On that. They had a genius that one. They had a genius. They was wait, what? Y'all still searching? Don't worry, I'll break it down. Later. It's okay. It's okay. We got y'all. <laughs> All right, what are we starting with first on the docket? Uh, Beebs in a trap. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> let me pull up this quote, bro. So, for those who don't know, uh, well, y'all know Justin Bieber, Mr. Canada and everything. Mm. He had a moment where he was trying to be black, and he made a lot of black friends. He's got a feature with Martin Luther King. He True. <laughs> <laughs> he had, so. He got Usher. Oh, my God. So, oh, when, when Usher, when, Usher, when Justin Bieber was going through his little Usher, bad Martin boy. Usher, Martin Luther King needed verses? Damn. When when Justin Bieber was going through his little bad boy phase, he made a bunch of black friends. One of them being Young Money's own little twist. They was hanging out together. They was doing a whole bunch of stuff. And so this was back in like 2014, when weed was still very taboo for mm-hmm. for high school throbs to be to be smoking. Take this weight from me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was, um, <clears throat> excuse me. What happened was basically Bieber got caught with weed, and his production team essentially asked Lil Twist to take the fall. And let me go ahead and find the actual quote. So, all right. So this is from, this is from Twist Words uh, only. It says, it would have been bad on him, so I got a call one day saying, Twist, do you really love this kid? I said, yes. They said, cool. If you love him, then you can take the heat for him because you can come off a little weed charge. You're associated with Lil Wayne. You're a rapper. It got to a point where I didn't even have to be there at times, and they were putting it, Twist did it, Twist did it, Twist did it, he added. So essentially... He took the fall for a white boy mm. over some weed. Mm. And they was basically like, well, you're black and a rapper, so it'll be okay. We yeah. can't have this teen heartthrob connect right. Canada's it, very it own. Yeah, yeah, you fit it, the mold because yeah. you're associated with Lil Wayne. How, how do y'all feel about that? Louisiana. Well, because like, like you guys said, back in 2014, it was like he, weed was damn near heroin. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it really was. Yeah. It really was. It was on that. And I mean, that's just like, it's crazy that you got to do stuff, but you know, the music industry is shady. Like little twist, we don't see much potential in you, yeah. but yeah, we see potential as you in the fall guy. Yeah. <laughs> like you have great, you will be forever paid, but you're gonna take this way. Yeah. At that like, point, little twist way. wasn't really cause, doing anything. Cause he was, uh, he was kind of just there when yeah. when they that Young Money album came out. I think he was like in a couple features and like but he was and, like twelve. I yeah, think, he was too. he yeah. was like thirteen, fourteen. So everyone was like, all right, this he's hanging out with Wayne and you know Drake was Ooh. already coming up, Nicki was coming. So they were probably like, yo, this guy's the this guy's gonna be this gonna be it. Mm-hmm. And then you know nothing ever happened. So I mean at that point like. Like, I feel like Wayne wasn't even look out, looking out for him at that point. Because I'm pretty sure Wayne would have told him, like, nah, don't do that shit. Well, Wayne was going through, what, jail and yeah. all that. I yeah, I don't Street remember the exact year, but I think, it, I think it was around 2014. I but mean, but Wayne during 2014 was pretty, it was pretty at the height of his yeah. stuff. You mm-hmm. know? So it's just, it's just weird because it's like folks really don't, like you said, it's, it's the music industry at, right. at, 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 at its core. And it's just kind of like, yeah, um, young black male, yeah. go ahead, take this weed charge for this white man. Yeah. I wish I wish somebody would ask Wait, me to take a weed charge. You're not charge. taking the charge for Leo DiCap? No. 
Damn. He loves the environment. He just smoked a little bit of the environment. That's all. That's all it is. Do you watch Atlanta? I think you do, right? Yes, I do. You remember that one episode on the last season? The la- the season finale. 85 years. Oh, when he stuffed the gun. Yeah, when he stuffed yeah. the gun. And then the rapper homie stuffed it on and his manager took the weight. That's what you got to do in that situation. That's your, hey, I'm the famous one. I'm making sure the bill's getting paid, That's so you're going to take this. Because I know crazy. what, like, you know, Rest in Peace Juice was. I was just about they, to say that. Because, that, that, you know, mm-hmm. supposedly he took uh, all the we drugs. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 we left. never left. <laughs> it's 96. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so infinity. Let's go. Facts. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Juice World apparently, like, took all those drugs mm-hmm. because he didn't want to get caught with them. You know, it's allegedly and all that. Right. Yeah. And they were saying like your man's, that's when your your man's has to hold on to it. Your man's and then if someone if someone gotta go to jail, it's gonna be him because you know Juice World paying. Or you gotta split that whole yeah. amongst nah, the, the people. If, in if the- I'm paying everybody's bills, you taking that forty five years and whatever else I want to throw on that. <laughs> you taking that? Like I'm sorry, you gonna have to. That's I'm tough. not gonna go out of my way, but if I'm like yeah, you, you take you taking all for you, you, for you and your and your family. You owe me that. That's like, fair. you owe me that. I'll like, I don't that. expect like, them to uh, take bullets for me. Because, like I said, Reagan. I shot twice. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but <laughs> if I'm but if that's, if that's I'm doing the dirt with you mm-hmm. and we pretty much even standing. Yeah. All right, then I got to take mine. But if I'm Justin Bieber yeah. in 2014. Yeah. And you're Little Twist <laughs> in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't 2012. Them niggas would have lost. They niggas would have lost my number. They would no. Nah, you you would have took everybody's. Yeah, any Al Capone cases? All on <laughs> that nigga. You, t- you taking that? Oh, it's man. like because uh, relating to Wayne. Wayne has that line where he says, "I got people that do the crime and gladly do the time." Yeah, because you, know? you know he's going. Uh, they know I'm gonna make sure his family's straight. I'm gonna always be straight in here, and they gonna be straight out there. Yeah. Back, so. Just like Biggie's homie, yeah. uh, when uh, he had got out of jail, oh, the whole yeah, thing yeah, fell yeah, through yeah. a puff, and he was back in the streets. Yeah, he was like, "You, you the future. Like, yeah. make do what you're supposed to do. I'll take." How many it. basketball right. players? Like oh yeah, Derrick Rose. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he is not affiliated with any games. Yeah. No, no games yeah. whatsoever. No, it's no, a product no. of the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> so, from real quick, from one artist <laughs> to another, I want to get real quick because you was calling it corny. Well, I, about- you know what? I take that back. I Aww. super take that back because I thought for some reason I didn't read it. I thought that was Tory Lanez. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was his four. I didn't. I don't know why I thought that, but I I don't like Tory Lanez like that. Okay, so right. I just thought it was corny. It's oh, not okay. corny now that it makes sense for oh, an okay. artist. Right, now, cool. now that's the artist I like. It's an yeah. artist. It don't yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Right, cool. <laughs> so Anderson Pack, for those who don't know, Mister, leave the door open. The door been left open for a while. Um, <laughs> he recently got a tattoo that states, "When I'm gone, please don't release any posthumous albums or songs with my name attached. Those were just demos and never intended to be heard by the public." That's this a wild is coming, tattoo. This, that's a wild tattoo. Like, but this. This is coming off the heels. Apparently, a friend of Pop Smoke said they've emptied out his entire catalog. Yeah. They have no more music, which isn't too surprising because he was on for like maybe two years. Yeah. But they released like three projects under his name. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's, they had to get it while it's hot. So, but it's not, so it's like, I'm not mad at him because it's like, if I get this on my body, I mean it. Yeah. Like, I can say it because and it's weird though because. He could have just tweeted it. It would have been there. Yeah. But I, <laughs> Prince, Prince, they're not going to respect though. Anderson Pack if they're not respecting Prince. I'm sorry. Are they releasing Prince's stuff? Yes. Yeah, they're about they to. They released like three albums in the last five months. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, they been, They don't care. He's dead. What Is it his estate or the label? Whoever's in charge is releasing Prince stuff against no, his think, will. I think it's the or, label. I or did not know that. Yeah. Because supposedly, like, uh, I don't know. Because I think somebody, he had like the vault and somebody bought it. Or really? Something, yeah. Or something like, don't quote, quote me to it because okay, I don't really okay. know. But a lot, of, he got an album supposed to be coming out. That's, I, think I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know that. They're not going to respect Anderson Pack. You, how many instruments you play? I mean, they might because. They're 27. They yeah. might because he's under Dre. I think Dre would honor his wishes type stuff. What happens when Dre gone? They're not going to, you see what I'm saying? They're but, probably going to release Detox. <laughs> oh, Dre, man. Oh, no. oh. It's all references we don't even understand. Like, right. Which Eminem is this? <laughs> is this 01? Was, was, he wearing this a, was, he, was he wearing a do rag with this song? What Dang. is going on? He was wearing them do rags and the sweatsuits. So funny. Running around with them puppets. So, so <laughs> like, what, what do y'all, because I know we've talked about this before, but we didn't really go too in depth with it. But what do y'all feel about like posthumous albums and projects overall? Like I say, if it was. It was the album that was already made. If it was like two where it was like, all right, done. it's coming out. Mm-hmm. Or if we add one feature here or, or add a track here, it'll be done. Or remix it or something. You see what I'm, or add a remix. You know what I'm saying? Then the album's done. But if you just verses, 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 you're just like. Yeah, you're just pasting verses yeah. together. Copy like the, print. They doing that with, they bringing out Aaliyah's stuff. Like whoever had her stuff her, finally her like her let uncle. it. Like, yeah, but what happened 
and when people are upset about, she got like all guy features on the songs. And it's like all these people she's inspired, and y'all couldn't find one female to to to, yeah. to do a verse. Yeah. It's like um They're trying to make them like kind of like the Aaliyah A love ballad type yeah, stuff, type yeah. Thing. Shout out friend associate of the pod, uh Tory Lanez. He said um I wouldn't say friend. I wouldn't say associate <laughs> Yeah, fuck Tory Lanez. Canadian but, um, dwarf. Oh yeah, he is Canadian. <laughs> no football helmet in. <laughs> um, but no, he has said something a tweet recently, he's like, Don't release nothing. Well, posthumous because whatever's not released was demos and not meant to be heard. He has said that. He said that, too? he said that in a tweet, mm. and then you sent that. Oh, so okay, then okay. that's when I was like, oh, that's uh, that's yeah. the connection. I ain't Damn. crazy. I ain't no hater. Tory out Lanez here. inspiring Anderson Park. T- see, Tory Lanez wow. caught a stray, and then I caught the bullet, recalled <laughs> it, and then shot him again. With it. That's how we got to do. <laughs> Want to be like? <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, they're not gonna respect anybody's wishes. I mean, you 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 pretty much gotta burn burn the books, as they say. Burn your artwork. <laughs> Just set the whole studio on who, fire. Who's that artist? I've been trying to think of his name that burnt all his shit, like and then like killed himself or something. Like he burnt yeah. his whole studio down with all the art. Was he white? I forget. It was Probably. back in the eighties. Maybe think. Kurt Cobain. Nah, Kurt, nah, Cobain Kurt Cobain didn't Cobain go out Cobain. like that. Uh, he was the musician. But no, he like somebody would like burnt their shit, and mm-hmm. it was like nobody's gonna ever profit off this time. Wow. Sort of like a statement. Like, oh wow. Yeah, okay. So. That's just, you know, interesting. Help me thoughts. out, uh, Fire Nation, if you know. Yeah, I still don't know. Yeah. Who, what else we got? We got a lot. So, yeah, we do. Um, we yeah, could bro. keep it funny for a little bit. We'll do uh, the Negro phrases and Big Bro in the ah, black community. Okay. I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I didn't get that at first. So, apparently, women on the Twitter have yeah, been on the are, Twitter. are slandering the African-American males for calling other males that aren't related to them Big Bro. Big Bro. bro. And I, I ain't gonna hold you. I've, to my knowledge, I've never done that because mostly I was just bigger than a lot of people, so yeah, it, it was kind of weird kinda for weird. me. Hollywood since birth. <laughs> <laughs> he already so knew. It's, it was just like I never really got into that. But yeah. the, to slander somebody for calling somebody else who is like yeah. a big brother to them, big bro, is is weird. I've to only me. I've only called two people big bro, and that's because they're legitimately like five years older, than me. <laughs> and, and like they're my homies, homies. Yeah, so yeah. Just like, Yo, and it's not like I'm calling them after every sentence. Like, Thank you, big bro. It's like the fir- the, the first time. I I see him, I'm like, oh, yo, what's up, big bro? And that's it. Yeah. The but What do you I'm think? Not, I'm not here. <laughs> what do you think, Jay? Showing love. The, it's pause. Damn. <laughs> the big is... <laughs> the big is the respect. Pause. Pause. Yeah. Go. Keep going. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So you got to be... Like, hey, big bro is somebody that... Like, I haven't earned the respect to call him bro yet. Mm-hmm. Like, he may still look at me as a young... A like, a shorty, uh, little homie, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's, hey, big bro, hey, big bro. Yeah. Until I can kind of step out and yeah. be a hey, bro, That's like true. it's kind of getting the oh uh, you like call me by a nickname. You yeah. have to ma- you have to earn that. Mm-hmm. You Facts. see what I'm saying? So, yeah. And that's what not like, everybody calling G baby G. No, You're right. Huh? There can't nobody. Everybody just call me G baby. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? My yeah. diehard homies don't call me G baby. Some, some people some people at work call me Zoo. I'm like I don't know you like that. <laughs> you see? Yeah, what I'm you saying? told me people that's started calling. You, you told me people started calling you Zoo at work. Right. I was like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's like no, but you have to earn that big bro. Like not everybody can get it. Facts. You can't just. I'm forty dollars short. Hey, big bro! Like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, your relationship should be similar to like Batman and Robin. <laughs> it should be like, yeah, you Robin until you Nightwing. Fact. Like, you Robin That's until you Nightwing. And it's a first name basis. You see like, what I'm yeah. saying? I don't respect you as a hero until you can prove that you're the yeah. hero. Hey, you hey, see I what I'm saying? If Kanye and, can make a song called Big Brother towards Jay Z, but I, he's not making then that now. Can. See what I'm saying? We're equals now. I feel you like he'll always have that view. It'll, it's always though. that big, but no, he's not going to eat Big Bro in public. He'll never do that again. Maybe not. Because yeah. then that's like, oh, well, you still, still think he's, this nigga's above you? Yeah. And no one kind of like, no, that's not going to fly. <laughs> Back then, it was like, yeah, I'm bigging him up. It didn't happen again since. Watch the throne. We was working together. Ooh, like, I didn't produce this, yeah. and I wasn't your partner. This was our. Yeah. Back and forth. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And this he was, was us. Jay. He did. Yeah, it could be said. It <laughs> Who won Otis? Uh, uh, yay. Yay one Otis. He had that uh, a sophisticated ignorance by my curses and curses. That was cool, yeah. And that yeah. won him the whole track. Who won uh, <laughs> No Church in the Wild? Yay. Yeah, yeah, took that. Mm. Coke on her black skin yeah. made a stripe like a zebra. I Dang. call that call jungle, jungle fever. fever. Nice. Yeah, I had crazy, to rewind bro. the track. I was serious. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to have to listen to that Sunglasses one. Sunglasses in Advil last night was mad real. That is fire. Dang, That's yeah. a fire bar. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. killed the Jay on that one. Good, good point, good point, good point. Oh, uh, who won? Who, you, can't, you can't stop me now then. I think Jay Z got yeah, that Jay-Z one. Jay Z got that one. one. Okay. Murder to Excellence. I think Ye won it with that Chicago line. Glory, Ye yeah. got him. Who won that? Uh, got Ham. A, who, who won? Got to have it. 
Jay. Uh, Jay. Jay, Jay got that. I was about to say, Jay, Jay got definitely that got that one. Now, that mommy, that mommy uh, little scheme he had right there. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Ham, Kanye took that one. Jay had that. He the two open, white girls. He opened his flat as Bro, shit. he opened his flat. That's a good devil, nigga. Glad he hit. What? Come on, bro. I'll listen again. I'll watch the again. throne review. No. Yeah. Yeah, watch the throne review coming soon. Who won that? All right. So <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I, I really appreciate that. That was dope. Yeah. So, a uh, little big cousin. What, <laughs> what, what we got next? So, next, um, Jim Jones gives street cred to COVID. Oh, my it God. It did not I'm exist so sick of until nigga. Jim Jones. Let me, go fig- let me go find this video. Jim so, Jones. I need people to stop acting like COVID don't exist. Not to be confused exist. with Mike Jones. Who? Cool. Cool. <laughs> Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. All right. COVID <laughs> saw the verses. <laughs> it was like, they knew Dipset wasn't for real yeah. no more. They had to introduce it. All hey, right. Fat Joe said COVID's in the building. Of course Fat, it was. Fat Joe literally said that. All right, let me let me let me play this real quick. What's up, everybody? Um, I was contemplating <clears throat> whether I should do this or you know keep my business to myself, but I think it's more important for me to do this. I urge everybody to stay safe out there. COVID is real. You heard? I was running around <laughs> thinking I was Superman. <laughs> And Kobe knocked the socks off Superman. So I urge and encourage everybody, please continue to mask up. Please continue hand sanitize, social distance as much as you can. You heard? Try to stay away from a lot of packed and crowded places. Um, <laughs> shit is no joke. It's the first time I'm hearing all this. <laughs> Wish my government. I really felt Wish the CDC would have said. I would have said this as a last feel like how I felt. You know what I mean? I'm not in charge of the FDC or anything. I, I'm not here to tell you to go get your vaccination. I'm just here to tell you to take care of yourself because this shit is very real. And I'm grateful. I thank God that I'm back to getting healthy. I'll see you all soon. Guys, COVID has been around. We are in a state of emergency yeah. as of right now. COVID has been around <laughs> two years at least, yeah. y'all. Maybe he forgot to release that last year. It's like a, it was in the draft. It was in his, it was in his TikTok drafts. Well, no, he was really. reviewing the weather last year, wasn't he? Yeah. It's cold out here. <laughs> Bro, and it he was, was cold out it there. Was, it was though. definitely I mean, cold. So maybe he's treat, maybe he's right. I mean, because I maybe had, COVID is real. Maybe for the first time. Because if it's, if it was truly cold outside, maybe cold. COVID Jim really Jim need to let us know because he's probably the most person I trust in his government right now is Jim yeah. Jones. I wish he needs to let us know we need to lock up. I wish the CDC would have told us that they should have got him involved way earlier. This would have probably been beat already. Would have told us to mask up. I mean, you what does Jim think? You heard we fly high in lovely days. You know what he can do in the lab. You know, hook him up. That was good. That was good. (laughs) So, guys, put your mask on. Like the Delta's affecting kids. We heard. I've heard. Oh, ain't no hurt. Five five thousand six hundred kids in Florida have been put into quarantine because Mm. of the school district. And Texas basically, there's a Texas um excuse me. There is a Texas mandate. One of the, the school boards had to put a loophole within their dress code stating oh, yeah, that makes... masks are part of dress code. Yeah. So what the go- Texas government either got to ban dress codes among schools or let the kids wear masks because it is running rampant. Delta variant is out here on her MVP stuff right yeah, now. Yeah. And I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get why people just like, like some, I think we, there's a saying, like it ain't real till it happened to you, I guess. Right. Which is... It's a fact, yeah. I got, but, like, I know that guns are real without me having to get shot with one. Yeah. Right. Like, there's evidence. There, there's clear evidence that COVID is a real thing. Whether you believe in getting the vaccination, that's between you and God. Whatever you decide to do, that's what you decide right. to do. But there's clear evidence that this here uh, virus is a real thing. Yeah. And you and folks just like, oh, well, you know, everybody was saying that. I saw the charts. I saw everything. But when it hit me, I knew. Yeah. It was for it, real. It was for real. For yeah. really real. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, G. I mean, it's just what, like, you had everybody shook last year. People were scared to get their mail last year. Rightfully so, though. And then you loosened up. Bro, you see what I'm saying? Like, Like, old people had an old, they own hour to shop before. No, like, old folks was panicking. They was panicking. Toilet paper, you remember that? My grandma was like. (laughs) Niggas died over a chicken sandwich. (laughs) And was fighting over toilet paper. You see what I'm saying? You have to go to Amazon to buy toilet paper at a point. People were were at the crib making their own hand sanitizer, like, custom made. (laughs) <laughs> Bro, people were blowing up because they was putting gas in there. We did a podcast about we it. We did. Talking about we it. We did. You see what I'm saying? And niggas just thought that this was just over a fake thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, it was until Jim Jones. <laughs> now all that stuff seems very real, like it actually now, happened. Now it makes sense? It makes a whole yeah, lot of yeah, sense. Yeah. Like, oh, damn, that it was real. He put it together. For there's, there's some truth to this. There's some real truth to this. If Jim Jones is I saying. hate people so much. <laughs> it's hate, like Ja Rule. What does Ja Rule think about in a time like this? <laughs> I hate people so much. 
because it's like, bro, there was nothing but evidence. There was nothing but charts. There, 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 you saw the people just dead in quarantine. <laughs> you people, saw the bodies on bodies. Fact, people and, if, and if even he didn't want to believe, like, the regular people were dying, like, there were celebrities dying. There were celebrities. Like, speaking about it. Yeah, like, come man. on. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Fucking Tom Hanks was stranded in Australia for, like, a, like two weeks, three, a month. I fail to think that Jim Jones is still in the streets that heavy that he's not heard about the COVID. <laughs> nigga, have you seen his backyard? He in, nigga, he in the suburb somewhere. Bro, he hasn't <laughs> heard about COVID. Or even thought once that, oh, this shit might be for real, like Max. looking at the numbers. He thought that gated community was like COVID immune. Bro. <laughs> COVID stopped right at the check. Well, no, because he's from there's, Harlem. There's a passcode to get in here. I, I, can't, I can't mess with it. He's from Harlem, so I guess the world doesn't. It's like separated. I, news yeah. doesn't come to Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, so you, upset, you know, bro. Yeah, New Yorkers built different. Yeah, they, they said another lady was swimming in the subway. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was not she that dove was, in. That was so dumb. Like, come on. I I've never bad. wanted to get anywhere that bad. I would have never. <laughs> I would have left the state. Yeah. I started over. I'd Whole new family. Mad disrespected Whole. by the weather. <laughs> I'm leaving everything behind. Changing Facts. the name and everything. Yeah. If it, yeah. You got to just get a whole new career, name, identity, start a whole new family. Be like, look, y'all just there. They're, they're, Noah's Ark is, is going to have to save y'all from, from whatever is going on in New York. Bro, that place got to be so filthy. It's got to be. <laughs> I couldn't live there. I know for a fact I couldn't. That's I would our, judge um, too much. Who said that? Uh, I think oh, Demi Lovato said that. She was like, <laughs> what she said? She said New York is like one of the filthiest places. It is. It, it just smells walking around. Because she had, she had come to Chicago, I think. And she was like, Chicago is a huge city and it's like one of the cleanest cities. Obviously, she was just downtown, right? Yeah. yeah. But like, she was like, even compared to New York's downtown, New York's downtown is fucking filthy. Yeah. But I heard because they, they don't have alleyways yeah. in New York, I think. I think they just throw all the trash on, on the front. They had an episode of Futurama. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show. I know. But um, you remember the garbage episode? You know, nice. like 3,000 years ago, they shot a big-ass garbage ball in the space. And yeah. it was coming down as a meteor. <laughs> so they was like, now the only way to stop this garbage meteor is to make 3,000 more years worth of garbage and send another garbage meteor to blow it up. That's essentially New York. Yeah, it, 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 happened, it happened in New York. That's It was going to be a direct oh, yeah, thing yeah, in yeah, New yeah. York. But the Wally... Yeah, and Wally. Wally <laughs> did talk about like the humans but, just messing everything up. But the funny thing is because at the end, the little professor character was like, well, he was like, well, what happens when that one comes back to Earth? He was like, that's a problem for 3,000 years from now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, man. So that's how we're treating this, Guys, I guess. <laughs> COVID is real because Jim Jones said so. Please be safe. Mask up. Wear your mask. Dipset mask available nice. at the Dipset website. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What else we got? Uh, we, can, we can get a little bit serious. We got... Uh, I want to send some thoughts and prayers to the Afghan. We can talk about that uh, for yeah. a little bit. So, oh. so for the, obviously, everybody knows about the Afghan war that we've been in for the past 20-something years. One of Biden's biggest uh, talking points when he was trying to get elected was that he was going to pull us out of Afghanistan. He said, we have been there too long. There's no reason for us to still be there. Literally, as soon as we closed the door on leaving Afghanistan, Taliban swooped in and was like, this is our place now. They are teeing that hoe up. They in the workout rooms. They dancing the Drake. It's just, they are running rampant. And people are looking at Biden like, why would you pull out? The and government Biden changed, <laughs> yes. essentially. So basically, Biden had this to say. Let me go pull up the uh, another video for you A guys. Feature from Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> so let me hold on. Give me two seconds to pull that up, please, and thank you. And then we'll get uh, everybody's thoughts on that. So the this is Biden basically, you know, kind of justifying his actions to pull out. Future. We could not provide them. It was the will to fight for that future. There's some very brave and capable Afghan special forces units and, and soldiers. But if Afghanistan is unable to mount any real resistance to the Taliban now, there is no chance that one year, one more year, five more years, or 20 more years, the U.S. military boots on the ground would have made any difference. Here's what I believe to my core. It is wrong to order American troops to step up when Afghanistan's own armed forces would not. The political leaders of Afghanistan were unable to come together for the good of their people, unable to negotiate for the future of their country when the chips were down. They would never have done so determine their own future. So, yeah, basically, he, he continues to say, if they weren't able to do it before we left, they weren't going to do it while we was there either. So it don't make no sense to still be there. 
Uh, before I get my thoughts, what do you guys? Uh, because y'all saw folks trying to get up out of the, yeah. hanging on the planes, falling yeah. and stuff. What do y'all that think? Tough. That's that was. Zoo, you can go first. Oh, However, if you have, or I, no, I, I, I can take it. I can take it. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's like fucked up. Obviously, it just I only noticed because obviously it was trending on Twitter. And I didn't know what to think at first, because at first I was like, oh, everybody's going to kill, you know, Joe over it. But then he did say, like, we have been there 20 years. Uh, I mean, we already did as much as we could do to help, fight, like, fight the Taliban. Unless they, like, the only other way that it could be stopped would be, like, to bomb them. But then you're also bombing the Afghan people. So, obviously, you don't want to do that. You don't want to keep doing that. No. <laughs> it's not you, nothing left, you, don't want to, you don't want to keep doing that. Cause, cause, yeah, because then that only creates more. Because, like, if innocent people are getting to die, then that just creates more people who want to join the Taliban. Now you're a war criminal. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess the best thing we do is pull out. Like he said, if they were going to take over, they were going to take over regardless. You know, if they stay 20 more years and pulled out 20 years later, it's still going to happen. You, you were just prolonging the inevitable, basically. Mm -hmm. But it does suck for all the citizens there. Yeah. And, like, I mean... You really can't do shit about it at this point, I guess. You can't. I mean, yeah, it sucks. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't inspire nobody to fight. I mean, it's terrible, and I'm not trying to take it light or anything. But I mean, 20 years is there. Yeah, there's things that could have possibly done better, like mm -hmm. maybe establishing a government or a police force. Maybe might have kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. In 20 years, you've just been fighting them. You haven't tried to just like. I mean, I'm saying you. I'm not a military guy, so don't shoot me. Yeah. But um, I mean, you would think that they would have tried to neutralize it, like gung ho with that. Uh, with, when everything went down, when Bin Laden and all of that went down, mm -hmm. you'd have thought, you know, let's put in this work and get up out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> you didn't. You just supplied them with. You supplied both sides with weapons. Yeah. So I get it. And it's like, hey, we can't make y'all fight. Yeah. And we can't keep fighting because no. we look like the bad guys. Yeah, because one of the biggest mm -hmm. things is, yes, we did supply the Afghans initially that turned into the Taliban with the weapons and the practice and the military training, yeah. all of that stuff. Because we thought we were going to use them against, like, Russia and China because yeah. they were closer. Right. Mm -hmm. and, so, and then yeah. they, they did their thing. And then, yeah, like, for 20 years, we've been taking oil from them, sitting up in the... He ran dry. Fighting in random dry. So I think that's mostly why we're pulling out. But yeah. once again, I'm not a military person. And I want one day to potentially either call ICE or uh, the other girl we worked with to potentially call them up and get that. Because this is an ongoing thing right. to get their feedback on that. So we gonna, we may try to set that up uh, in like two weeks or so. Yeah, yeah I got um, a person too. Yeah, so I'm very curious what an actual military person's opinion is. But from just a civilian's a, a civilian who don't know much about war, but I know that oh, you a lot be getting of, them big dubs. I know, I know, war zone. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I know a lot of it be having to do with money. So. It do look like, hey, like we, how much more do y'all want from us? We've been here 20 years, but then you can also make the argument, well, the only reason y'all got to be here is because what y'all did in the 70s. And so it's kind of like y'all kind of that. That's yeah. what it is. But it's also like from an Afghan's perspective, I can see them saying, Lord, y'all niggas kind of owe us. Like, yeah. did nobody ask y'all to come over here in the first place? Y'all y'all started mm -hmm. all of this. We was like, you know, our little quarrels in between each other up until y'all started giving them weapons of mass destruction yeah and now all of a sudden the whole thing with 9 11 go down now y'all mad or whatever and all of a sudden oh well, our freedoms we got to fight for our freedoms over there yeah you notice come any, on man you notice nobody of uh, no, no other power really seems to give a shit about it nobody's been bothering afghanistan but us. You, but you know but you see what i'm saying now that it, <clears throat> they pulled out nobody's offering to Hey, stop the Taliban. In. They're like, hey, this no, needs they, to happen. They just saying like, like this needs to happen, I guess. They basically <laughs> saying a lot of people as long are as saying, they don't like come mess with us or threaten the world, I guess, you know, you yeah. just let them stay in their section. Basically. A lot of countries, I know Canada said it for sure. They basically have said like, we ain't finna go over there, but if y'all can make y'all way here, we'll take y'all. Yeah. Right. I think they said they, they're willing to take like 25,000 or something like that, which is, you know, it's something. Because then you start getting them kidnapped in hostage situations when you send because Canadian like, people yeah. over there. And then also, it's like, you don't know who all coming over here. Exactly. It's like, you, you, you're, like you're hoping that it's good people who are coming here to, to make a future and to build. Yeah. You don't know that. At all. You don't know that at all. At all. Mm -hmm. So it, it's kind of like, you know, I can see why folks be like, well, we'll take a, a, a certain amount. And then like, because I think apparently they also left a few Americans over there too. It was just like, look, y'all either get the plant, y'all got to get on the plant. Get in where you fit in. Essentially. <laughs> so I don't know. But like uh, Titanic at the end. Yeah. Facts. Press <laughs> everybody over there who is suffering. Uh, press anybody who has served in the military in Afghanistan and seen some of the craziness that's mm. been going on. We hope you guys' mental is okay. Yeah. And we just pray for the best outcome. What else? Uh, I was telling you about that guy, Mo Brooks, Republican Go ahead. congressman. Go ahead. 
recently there was a bomb threat called to the Capitol building, whether it was in the Capitol building or within the vicinity of the Capitol building. Mm -hmm. And a Republican congressman, Mo Brooks, look at me being political. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he said a lot of stuff. I'm not going to read it because I really don't care about him. <laughs> but he uh, pretty much approves and supports of citizenary anger is what he calls it. Pretty mm -hmm. much leading the good old boys on there. Go ahead and bomb and tear shit up if you got to get your point across type message. Wanted to kind of adjust that. Like there's a lot of civil war baiting in there mm -hmm. just from a white racial standpoint. And that also the FBI isn't really saying nothing about it. No. After there was a bomb threat and an actual threat where people ran up in a Congress building. Mm -hmm. if they got in there easy that one time. True. They can definitely do it again. And what's to stop them from the White House? We Damn. see what happened to Reagan. Yeah. They shot him twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, and Kennedy. And Kennedy. Well, that wasn't his fault. <laughs> well, it was his fault, but he had, couldn't control it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I just wanted to get that out. I really, like I said, I don't really care too much about politics. So this is a this is the I want actually because I just want to break it down. So Brooks in his <clears> statement <throat> said that although this terrorist motivation is not yet publicly known, generally speaking, I understand sedentary anger directed at dictatorial socialism and his threat to liberty, freedom, and the very fabric of American society. He added that the way to stop socialism is for patriotic Americans to fight back in, own, in upcoming election cycles. I strongly encourage patriotic Americans to do exactly that more so than ever before, bluntly stated. America's future is at risk, Brooks' statement said. Hmm. So this isn't the first time I've seen that. And I actually, it, there's this girl. Take America back. You said a few yeah, episodes back. Yeah, the, the, the Trump Pence thing say take America back. So I we, we made jokes about a race war and the civil war happening. I, I'm seeing it. It's happening. It. I told seeing you. It. I am seeing it. It's, it's like the slow burn. It's taking its time. It, it, they're using other terms. They're using, I can understand, like, citizen anger or we shouldn't let socialism take over. Most of these niggas don't even know what socialism is. They just know. they just heard it's a word that they shouldn't like, like yeah. and they just okay. Well, America, I gotta I gotta do it. Yeah. Whatever's America, you know, America. Yeah. Basically, like <laughs> they've just turned America into a verb. They just like whatever whatever this is, it's America. See, they're gonna yeah. get they're gonna mess around and get their white friends mad, like the FBI and CIA and all them. When they be like, all right, y'all doing too much now that we gotta do something, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be a big problem. It's like don't make us have to. It's step like in. hey, we already segregated and doing all this crap and all this other stuff to them. Yeah. Like, y'all need to chill before be we actually, yeah. like, we don't come over here and don't mess up Beverly Hills. Stay in Compton. Don't come over here messing this up. Like, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Don't mess this up. And you get to blowing up you shit in America. About, you've talked about that before. If you it's get to blowing up shit in America, it don't matter who you connected to, you got to find out who's blowing shit up in America. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? And if a bomb goes off three blocks away from D.C.'s Capitol building or the I House, Somebody got to know where that bomb is at. Yeah. yeah. You see the manhunt they put for the DC sniper. Yeah. When yeah. You see, they're going to find out who's throwing Molotov cocktails <laughs> at the White House lawn. That's, I trust me. They're no, gonna no, find you're, you're, you're 100% correct. And that's when the whites will lose their leverage. Like, look at y'all defending. When they get too violent. When they get too violent and the whites have to go after the whites, that's when it's a problem. You FBI, do saying? your job. They won't. They won't until some shit get blown up. Yeah. That, that they could have like actually saying? affected they, an they, official. They, yeah, they gave them a know. little leeway because they are. If a white. politician had died, and I don't mean to cut you off in the Capitol building, it wouldn't be a lot of that Ku Klux Klan shit no more. My thing is the simple fact of the matter that they got to a point where there were politicians, yeah. and the FBI, to my knowledge, hasn't cracked really down. They like they stopped. They put a few a few people on the no fly list, but. Let's be real. You you can find the faces. You can do the whole facial recognition. Yeah. Just, you know, don't lie about it. You got the technology. Yeah. And you know how to find these people. I seen the movies. You see, old girl got I, popped. I seen Eagle Eye. Yeah. <laughs> old girl got popped in there and you ain't heard shit else about it. Didn't you, her family you, try to sue? You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Yeah. yeah. That's what that casualty award. That's yeah, what the that family was. is trying to sue. They trying to sue or something. Like, like why? She ran a goofy ass in there. Heck. That's a terrorist. Don't not want to disrespect the dead. No, she was a, a terrorist. That's, that's a terrorist, terrorist act. Really? Like, I don't, like, re like respect or whatever. I don't care. Like, whatever. That was a terrorist act that you died yeah. for. Yeah. Like, like, Suicide bomb. Like, 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 whether you was white, black, or whatever, if you go out of your way to kill innocent people or to hurt yeah. innocent people and you get capped for it, you got what you deserve. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I don't like. She had a gun rate. Yeah. Either that or, like, the simple fact that it was I mean, a lot still, of... Yeah, you're still storming. You're still a threat. And I think, not that they knew this at the time, but she had military training. Mm. So it's like, if she, get her, she get her hands on one of them, you're a walking weapon. Yeah. Mm, that's true. I ain't mad at her. Try to call it duty vault. <laughs> <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. <laughs> Dollar bills got to flow. They turned around. Tough. Yeah. Uh, hate to see it go. 
Rest in peace, Ella French. Oh, the, the female the, police the, officer she gun, was, got yeah. down in Chicago. Tough. Tough. RP. Rest in peace to her and her. Uh, family. Love to her family. She had, didn't she like just come off maternity leave or something? Yep. Yeah. Leaves a couple months. She was only like what, 29, months? I think. Yeah, 20, 20, 29. Like that. God dang, that's tough. Leaves a little baby at the house. Pray, so prayers to her family. What else we got? Now we can get into some PJ Washington slander. Oh, Lighten it up the I'm, mood. Let's I've get been it. looking Not, for this. Hey, we're, we're, we're rewinding it. We're, yeah, we, gotta, I, we know you heard this like a month ago, but, but we're bringing it back. Because I'm just so upset. Remix. I, I, am, <laughs> I am so upset Might be a topic Washington every month. Because <laughs> until, he, until that baby turns for 18. 18 years. 18 years. This young man, 22 years of age, went on the Twitter and the social medias and the Instagrams and all of that to basically vent and talk about how he hasn't been able to see his son since... Miss Hustle Woman herself, Brittany Renner, broke up with her and, and put him on child support. And to that, I'm like, <laughs> everybody should be able to see their kids, they good people. Yeah. Sure. You knew what you you supposed to know what you signing up for. Yeah. <laughs> know who you putting your head into. Know who you dealing with. Know who you dealing with. She wrote a book. Fact. Guys, plenty of videos. She has her. a book and videos talking about how dumb athletes yeah. are. New she York was, bestseller. She was female <laughs> Kevin Samuel. She slandered Colin Kaepernick for saying, "Hey, you know, if we you know decide to have sex or whatever, you, I would rather you pay for your flight to and from. That way, you don't yeah. feel like Obligated. you have to give me anything." Yeah. She slandered him. Yeah. yeah. And this is who you decide to put a baby into. Thanks. Even Lil Uzi Vert turned her down. I think. Yes, I remember that. Because I remember that was news. Because this was right after the the. Kaepernick thing and Uzi was like nah you're not gonna put me on blast like that right no I mean <sighs> girls got her smarts man. Uh, people are so <laughs> dumb I'll bring it back I see why she says athletes are dumb facts I said um, uh, well, last time we talked about it Andre 3000 said these girls are smart play your part bro, yes bro I seen this video the other day uh, I talked about it didn't I I don't think so the Aiden Ross video mm -mm. well he was having a, he had the, the Aiden social Ross uh, with, the, with his sister no, with uh, Tiana Trump. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he did have her. He on had there. her on there. My friend showed. We were watching it, and it's like, man, a bunch of guys up there, bro. I, I, I sent it to you. Remember the clip where, where he was like, uh, no, was yeah, I'm saying I watched the whole thing. Oh no, okay, I'm, go ahead, the go whole. Ahead. Th bro, My bad, I'm interrupting. It, no, you're good, bro. I'm talking about it's grown ass man. People, oh man, I don't love no bitch. Bitches ain't shit to that another. Saying the most wildest, begging, crying for this girl before a chance at this girl. I'm talking about it's a contest, eh? Yeah. Oh, what would you do, they? Oh man, I'm do this. I'm call my mom and do that, bro. They was spazzing for this girl, bro. Yeah, Just they, going yeah. One of them crazy. called his mom to be like, yo, this like, is the one, bro. Blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about people were like losing their my grown ass men, yeah. bro. losing their minds. Hey, Tiana Trump, the only Trump I like, <laughs> bro. But I, I, I was just like, damn, that's how she got him because. He's 22 years yeah. old, and for the last eight years, he's been looking at her Fact. on she been Instagram. Looking at him. And she's been looking and at she him. Been, yeah, she's been scoping him. Of course she's been scoping him. I mean, him. she's been scoping everybody. She's she probably list. scoping the next two draft classes. Got Facts. It. You see what I'm saying? You know she's going to be out for she nine. Going, she going younger and younger. Yeah, boy yeah. Kate Cunningham on that list right now. God Man, damn. that's crazy. Saw, remember I, I sent you the with AO. I mean, I don't know if that's his girl or if that's just like a chicky news. What happened? Remember, I, I, right after this P.J. Washington thing, A.O. posted, like, he shared some chick's, uh, uh, like, Instagram picture on his on, on his Insta story. Mm -hmm. And he put, like, a bunch of, like, eye emojis and fire emojis. And I was like, damn. They, and, it was like, a, and it was like, because I went out on her page, you know, just scoping out, <laughs> making sure my boy A.O. is good. I want him to play well. He's from Chicago. Second round. I already know what went through and, his head. And it was like, she, she already had like 60, 80K followers. And I was like, oh, no, he doesn't know this chick from another, the hood. Another one bites the dust. He does not know this girl from As the hood. As a Chicago nigga, I know exactly what he thought. I ain't, I ain't stupid like that nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah, she going to yeah. do me like that. She going to do me she right. Ain't she low key. She ain't going to do it like that. Yeah, right. uh, 80. 80K, 80K gonna turn into 250. <laughs> you know Your ass gonna be hurt. God, <laughs> and, oh my God. I, and I even saw, uh, cause with the this chick India Love, she uh she posted today or whatever. Um, like her and and her, uh, like her new boo or whatever are like rapping like some song. And the comments were like, didn't he just have like a different like the, the dude he was with? Like didn't he just break up with a chick like last week? And then like the main comment was like, um. Like these like everybody in the industry just runs through the same chicks. Yeah. Like literally, they and and someone said it's because I've heard that like the famous people don't want to make regular chicks famous anymore. Because you know, like if 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 Chris Brown starts dating a regular regular degular, he make Karuchi pop. 
Ain't nobody yeah. know who Karuchi was yeah, and, and like his and new they, baby mama. Don't know how to nobody know. knew who his new baby mama was until she, uh, he got with Chris started Brown. Posting her, yeah. So now that's why they're just recycling the same chicks because they're not it's trying to make any. Yeah. That's so... Uh, so I don't know. Every time thing. I think about that, I get violent in this. It's just <laughs> like, you really just like... It's not, it's not the fact that he got played. It's the fact that he's he, on Twitter like... Uh, crying about every it. Every day. Like, like, I follow this man he, every day. I don't. I you, That's what get me. I you don't follow. Phone, I do not follow him, and I see his tweets every time. I just want to see my son. I just want to see my... Why, I don't see, understand why I can't Bro, see my son. I was sad as hell a few years back. Sad as hell scrolling, about to type some goofy shit, oh, some super depressing, get some like shit, and then I read it, and I was like, am I really this sad to send <laughs> this to my I was like, no. Like, that, if you, man, you type that out and send it, you're not that sad. If you that sad, man, I want my son. You're not thinking about that phone. You call, but you yeah. opening the phone, going to Twitter, new post. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. But I want to see my. If you I, ain't calmed yeah. down by then, I don't know if he thinks or, maybe like people will attack her and make her give him the son or what. But like she's she's been in this game like we said like at least six eight. Cause I remember it from when I was in high school. Yeah, that's damn near almost ten years. Yeah, I think I, I think I first found out about her. I want to say my freshman year in college. That's almost six years. Yeah. Ago. So and yeah. and, oh, and so she's like maybe this would have got her her first couple years in, but yeah. now she don't care. She's 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 true to the game. And she's a millionaire. Yeah. yeah. Like like the, the biggest the craziest thing is like she's she the LeBron like, of her craft. Basically, because she was already making her own money with the fitness stuff. She's like, not even gonna touch that baby. That's extra money for her. Oh yeah. She got our book. She got she, that baby straight. The well, baby been straight. Yeah. Like, it, it, but it's just yeah. It's yeah. She's I, not I using think, that money because she still got like other dudes. Like we said, she's gonna yeah. be with. They're gonna pay for her stuff. Why really? she's pregnant? It's so wild because it's like it's a, somebody made a joke. It was like she already back in shape looking for her next victim. Right. Like so, it's it's one of those things where it's like. From a man's perspective, you you understand like okay, this is appealing to look at. So, your 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 common sense sometimes go out the window. But I'm I'm a, a type of person when I'm dating to the best of my ability, I try to do like somewhat of a Carfax on a person to just find out okay, is this somebody I could see myself? Especially if you're talking about like dating, dating, like being in a relationship. Can I have a kid with this person? Yeah. And it's like. In my opinion, I can't speak for him, but in my opinion, there are too many red flags. And it's not even like about the people she's been with. Yeah. It's the fact that she went about going to make a book about it. Yeah. And then slandering the guys who was like trying to be a gentleman and like, look, I don't want you to feel pressure. Yeah. So like you can pay your way to and from. Right. And she's slandering that. Yeah. I'm my, with somebody of that caliber, I'm doing all the car facts I can. Yeah. yeah. I got to. You gotta protect yourself. <laughs> yeah. Or you get get the prino, like Yay yeah, said. Where are your intentions? That's Everybody all I gotta said. say. That's it. I mean, you gotta yeah. be. It was a lusty moment. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what it cost. All I know is PJ Washington's awareness rating just plummeted. Mm. It just went down. Defensive awareness. I was playing against <laughs> him. Plummeted. I was playing against him on uh on two K. Somebody had the Hornets on 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 live. I'm like, I need to dunk on him. I just <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns just put him on a post. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> forget this. He's switching on every play, trying to, <laughs> trying to get I PJ. So, I so. <laughs> A uh, quick like talking about people crying. Uh oh, curveball! Uh, today I saw Amber Rose was crying. What? Yeah, she. Oh. Was, I've never seen her with emotions besides happiness. Facts. She was on her Insta because uh, like, I guess her her baby daddy or the guy she's with, her husband, like uh, father of her children, um, or one of her one of her kids at least, um, cheated on her. Oh, oh. And she's crying, <laughs> and of course the internet's gonna internet. Mm -hmm. and someone said, "Aren't you the ambassador of the slut walk?" And like, cause she was shitting on the girls. They were like, you knew he had, he had a wife. Mm. You knew blah blah blah. You knew this. You knew that. And you still decided to sleep with him. And I, and she like also held accountability for like her husband too. And she was like, yeah, I'm done. Like I hate love. You know, like yeah. this whole rant. The, yeah, the yeah. typical everybody breaks up rant. Where well, <laughs> you and, open your phone and, and yeah, open and Instagram said, and turn yeah. on the camera. Uh, someone and cry. said, yeah. <laughs> someone said you're the ambassador of the slut walk. You know. You know what the time it is. They can't hurt you. You're the president. You That's know, like future catching feelings. I think they, they, okay. she thought she was the president, so they were going to respect her. Nah, like, slut's going to slut. The only thing I can think of, and this isn't cave, I just, the only thing I can think is that when she was doing that whole slut walk thing, she was talking about like single women just being free and like, you know, just right. dating multiple men. Yeah. I don't think she meant married niggas. Like, I don't think that, I don't think that was in the qualifications. But for that the falls slut under the, the slut Slides umbrella. The, the title, yeah. The slut brother? <laughs> the slut brother. We found the episode for the episode. Uh, the slut, slut brother. Oh, brother. Oh, God, I can't have nobody watch this. Why would, <laughs> what, you want to check the slut <laughs> brother? Oh, God. Slut brother, just to get them numbers. Oh, oh um, man, that's funny. 
Thinking about more business-minded women. Uh, mm. OnlyFans is banning the sex content. <laughs> <laughs> what, are y'all, what are y'all opinions on that? I mean... Because we uh, talked about it like two, three, maybe four episodes ago. Yeah. They're trying to get sponsors. We were talking about BBL. You can't get sponsors with a bunch of, <laughs> you, you, you can't get sponsors with a bunch of coochies on, on your, you your platform, I guess. So yeah. what, what do y'all think? And they're going into it. They're mean, finally following through. It's not just a rumor. It's going through. I said, and what's it, October or something? It starts in October. Because right now it's trending. You know, obviously it's breaking news just today. And, you know... Kevin Samuel said, Subway. <laughs> Subway's always hiring. He did indeed make that statement. That is a statement he, he made. He did say, I mean, not to, like, obviously not. To, every, work is work. <laughs> work is work. You get paid how you get paid, you know. What you think, Drew? A hustler can only hustle till they hustle now. Yeah. And it's, oh, it's it was over. Did you find the next yeah. one? You got to find something else. See, and I, it sucks yeah, for the, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go but ahead. It, it sucks for the girls that were, because um, obviously some girls were just probably on there just putting, from what I've heard, they're just putting, like, uh, lingerie pics like tasteful yeah. confidence boosting yeah, pictures yeah. like uh, what I've heard yeah Miss Yane Garcia she just posts lingerie pics mm-hmm. from what I've heard <laughs> <laughs> and uh so like those chicks they lost money cause they can't go to the P-Hubs yeah cause they're not they're it's not, not naked, doing anything yeah like I told you, you gotta you, go, you gotta compete with the freaks on people, there. They're not doing anything else. They're, they're not. They're I not mean, if performing. they start doing the dude, they can make it. No, yeah, they, they can make it. But you gotta do the dude. You gotta yeah. do the dude. This was tiptoeing. Like how how deep are you gonna go? Ah, yeah. I get, you see now what I'm saying? Get you saying. Okay, you see okay. What I'm saying? My fault. My fault. So I, the girls who are already doing the dude on the fans, they can just probably slide that go way. Go to P Hub, and you know, because they made that move. A lot of them have made that move early, because OnlyFans started with classy, and then it's I get more money in the bikini. I get more money if I show this. I get more money if I do this. I did it, and you transition. Like you see it now. You'll see girls that are still have the eight hundred thousand followers, and oh, they don't show nothing. Mm-hmm. You got the two million star followers. That it's like, yo, this is sixty dollars a month, and I'm, you gonna pay for it? Yeah, you that's see where it's saying? at. That's where it's at because they gonna you get, you they get the can bang make for your buck literally. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but I mean, I wish everybody the best. I mean, like I said, you can find there's always sex sales. So it does. Yeah. So you'll find a, you'll find a way to make some money. But and, be, um, and of course, Twitter says that men hate sex workers, that. even though the men are the ones a majority funding said sex workers on the fans. That's an interesting so take to a, me. I think what they're saying. Because a lot of times men because they slander. Yeah, men we, do we, slander. We, we hate them in public, but love, love them in private. private. Which it, which to they. Hey, I know, love them both ways. It's a fact. <laughs> to they yeah. argument, I can get that. It's like don't sit here and slander me and say I'm X, Y, and Z, but you yeah. got a subscription. Yeah. Multiple subscriptions. All of a sudden, why is eight hundred dollars coming out your account every month? Yeah. Oh well, because of these twenty five OnlyFans accounts I'm yeah. paying for. Like you can't do that and then turn around and call them hoes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Mm, you something may be wrong with you too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. You're gonna see a kindergarten teacher with the extra sloppy jalopy ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. This was a confidence thing back in 2019. That's <laughs> tough. That's BBLs, tough. Oh, that's before crazy. we because we were talking about when we were talking about tears on uh on Instagram and stuff with Amber Rose, people have been slandering Lizzo. And Aww. she, she really, what did she say? I didn't pay attention. So she that. released a she really she had just released a song with Cardi B called Rumors. And it was apparently it's doing pretty well, but folks have been slandering her saying, Yeah, she I mean, you, you got Cardi and you got Liz on. Yeah, it's, it's no, <laughs> and, you can't fail. And, yeah. and it was like the Hercules theme, she was like the muses oh. in the music video. Oh, so so yeah. that's pretty dope. But, oh, I saw part of the music, I didn't yeah. hear the song, I saw the, the video. Yeah, I, I heard I heard part of it. I was making jokes like it sounded like it could be like on an old Navy ad. I was there it's for a Miss catchy song though. Like, I was yeah. on there for her. It's a pop song, but uh, folks were saying like she don't, they, obviously, it was the fat phobic stuff, but then folks were saying like she doesn't make music for black people mm-hmm. and all of that stuff. And and then Lizzo kind of took to uh, to IG, and she was basically like, you know, when you work hard at your craft, and it's like you 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 go out of your way to have a thick skin. Because mind you, Lizzo don't really clap back at a lot of people yeah. at all when they were like when they were talking about her calling her fat and everything. She was on the news she, today though. She didn't really say much, but you know everybody got their limit. Yeah. So she went on uh, Instagram a couple of days ago, a couple maybe a week ago, and she was like. I'm kind of like, you know, you kind of hit your wits in. It's yeah. like you do your part, so you, you be creative, you work hard, and folks just always got something to say. And I, I'm, I'm trying to think, because, like, for, for black folks to say she don't make music for black people, I don't agree with that. It's like my thing is... Music don't have pop, a color. Music does not have a color. unless it it's a le- a color. Literally, I think the only person that outright makes music for black people, and then, even then he doesn't because he still has his pop stuff, is like Kendrick Lamar. Like, to pimp a butterfly Lamar, was you, for black people type but, stuff. But he, he's like Eminem. Yeah. I don't do white music. I don't like black music. No, no, no. I, but no, I'm just saying, I'm it's saying. like, 
You anybody can listen to yeah. Kendrick. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. A, you, I'm not you know disagreeing. But I'm just saying, like, you can't just like that. Can't be like just be real. You're fat phobic. You don't like the fact that she's fat yeah. and has confidence. But you want to say, oh well, you don't even make music for black people. What does that even mean? It's cause she's corny. I'm trying to get you to understand that. Yeah. But I That's wish people I mean. would just come out and say that. But don't that, lie about the reason why you does, don't like her. Because that doesn't hurt anybody. Like the fat jokes do. That's who, that's where the internet is. Yeah. It's a bunch of bullies. Everybody bullies somebody on the internet. This I is, do it. Oh, that shit trash. This, that, that. I don't know. I don't be knowing half of this shit. You, right. uh, you see what I'm saying? People just talk. I love to talk. I don't be on the socials like that. Post, yeah, yeah. But I love to talk. That's, that's what this is. Like, oh, are you mad corny? So I can live with being corny. Yeah. But I ain't going to be the fat fuck. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That shit hurts. That yeah. hurt to say. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't. You, you know, that's what people want to do. They want to get the viral reaction that, hey, I'm going to catch her with this one, and I'm going to get my viral moment. Yeah. That's who you're dealing with. She's going to argue me. with me. I'm going to post the DMs. Yeah. And now we're going to get on the red table talk and talk facts. it out. Like, I didn't got to check. Facts. Like some, people, some people might shit on me like for like talking shit about her, but the majority of people are going to shit on me, but I'll still get an extra 200 followers from the people that agree with me. That's, that's crazy. Public exposure. That's so crazy. Bro, it's public and I get exposure. it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. It's, 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 it's essentially its own version of marketing. Yeah. Because you can even go back, and I'm not going to bully the Simone, like go back to Simone Biles thing with that, is because she was cock of the walk. Oh, yeah, I'm the goat. This, that, and that. People was talking her shit. All this publicity, all this publicity, all this publicity. And then it backfires. Like, now I need, I, I'm tired of this shit. Mm, like, yeah. stop. Mm -mm, you welcome yeah. to that first. Yeah. Right? Like, you, you fought it. You, I'm the goat. Stitched it, and I'm not taking nothing away from her talent. She was. Mm -hmm. She had this mental lapse. It wasn't nobody's fault. But yeah. you opened the door. Wait, was, there goal. was a weak moment. They took. There was a weak of moment. Yeah, she was and you can't rings, have that. The, the gold earrings. You, all see, that. you see what everybody says about Fifty Cent. And this, that, and the other. He always claps back because yeah. he don't care. Like I'm Fifty Cent at the end of the day. I'm gonna be able to take this. Can't nobody tell me nothing. But when you, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. No matter what happens. You got to be, I'm strong. Michael Jordan couldn't, yeah. you know, cry before he won the championship on Father's Day. What are you crying about? Go you, out there you, and win You it. go out there and win. We don't care. Yeah, yeah. But you see, oh, he had daddy issues. And, oh, that's why he couldn't perform. You get that. Yeah. That makes it worse. Yeah. You can't say shit. Like, man, he put it all out there for his father. It's the end of it. You see what I'm saying? If Simone Biles goes out there, competes, gets the goal, she go. Can't say nothing bad about it. She yeah. get it. But Lizzo, oh, yeah, I'm beautiful. I want to show my body at the Lakes Gate, blah, 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 blah. Now you're not feeling hot today, yeah. and you want to turn it off. Yeah. And you she's telling like, that Facebook to, like, stop the comments. Yeah, she stopped her comments on mm -hmm. Facebook, I believe. So, like, I got, I got when the you little... Up, you got to be up. I got the interview she did today in ABC, the little clip. Talk to me, then. Yeah, Talk to me, Zoo. And, and I'm not bullying or body shaming nobody. No, but no, your opinion, you have you have valid points because well, you know trolling almost better than anybody. Yeah, like, and I, I said, I don't make fun of people. Put it right in front of the right in front of the thing. Oh, right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bet. Hold up, hold up. Sick. There we go. I don't even mind the fat comments. People are like, don't let them see you with your head down. Says, my head is always up. Even when I'm upset and even when I'm crying, my head is up. But I know it's my job as an artist to reflect the times, and this should not fly. This shouldn't be okay. Black women have been in this industry and, and, and innovating it. Forever. Unfortunate that we are the ones who do suffer from the marginalization the most and the erasure the most. My music. Oh, I don't yeah. even mind. Yeah. The fact She's not wrong. Not at all. She's got a point. But that's like the thing. It has nothing to do with her because she can feel that way. Mm -hmm. But you're who are you talking to? Because nobody's listening. Like the internet is going to steal internet. And it's, you're not, not gonna, it's not one person. It's not one person that can, hey, you can get a community of Five million people that's going to stop the Lizzo hate, and you'll get six million people with pro li li Lizzo hate. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't win. Like, if you going to go into this, you have to go into it. Yeah. You can't show weakness. This is that what this is. It's, I think the, the biggest thing, and I, I agree with everything you said 100%, especially when you don't come into the industry with you know, showing your sensitive side. You right. come into it strong, confident, in your face. That's what this is. is who I am. Oh, this is who she is. So the, the moment you, like, show her, that you're human. She's showing her cheeks at the Lakers game. Yeah, but it's like, that. yeah, it's like, and I didn't agree with that. I'm just <laughs> like, but, like, the moment you show, oh, I'm human and I have emotions, like, nigga, F your yeah. emotions. What? You had all of this confidence, like you said, you had all this confidence before. That's the world, though. One of the greatest quotes ever was, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Fact. If, we, if we see a weakness, we can kill it. Yeah. And piranhas in the water. That's what the internet is. 
Yeah. You drop a blood of, oh, I'm not feeling. You are fat. First thing. You see what I'm saying? You can't. You can't. Okay. Anything. With Lizzo, the, anything she puts out. Going back out. with the Demi Lovato. Anything. anything. Time she says and anything. she's do positive Shut up, junkie. Yeah. She's Shut done up, junkie. positive <laughs> stuff since she's gotten clean officially. Yeah. Oh, look, and any other comment. She donated 200000 Yeah, look, it's better than going to that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the first joke I would have made. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything Lizzo does promotes a video. You got, yes, queen, slay, yes, yes, yes. And the ones right below, fat, fat bitch, fat, fat black bitch. You see it. You, you, you're not going to get no love. Yeah. You're not going to get no love. That's I was In a cold world, it don't get any warmer. Yeah. It that, don't get any warmer. Very true. Anything, Zoo, before we move on? Nah, that's it. Just hopefully she's okay. Hopefully I, she's I, okay. I really do hope she's okay. Yeah. What else? Everybody got, got their break. I'm pretty point. sure, yeah, you get broken by the internet. You're getting attacked every day. You know, it's like he said, like, uh, like a pack of wolves. Everybody, everybody, as soon as that, that knee buckles on that yeah. on that deer, got on em. that moose, everybody can get a viral moment. Anybody can get a jump on. Moment. Yep. So, yeah. What else we got, boss man? That was pretty much it. Okay. I mean, we still, like I said, we got to do the movie the episode. Yep. So, I took some of the movie more entertaining uh, ones smart. and kind of split them off. You're smart. So we You're smart. So, we'll probably be wrapping this one up soon. Yeah. Sorry Quick for the shout wait. Out yeah. Quick shout out to Beyonce. Quick shout out to Beyonce and Haley Jade. Sweetie, we didn't even talk about oh. my bad. My oh. bad. We almost got him out of here. Oh, my this bad. Why, this is why I said shout out to Beyonce. Oh, shout okay, out Beyonce. I, 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 was, I was confused. I was like, oh man, are we going to get a pink lemonade and a 555? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sweetie has partnered with the McDonald's. Everybody the who knows. McDonald's, yeah. if you, you've seen them. Yeah, <laughs> if, if, if you guys know anything about Sweetie, she's gone viral for her. Asinine food combinations, <laughs> putting ice cream and cheeseburgers, yeah. and people's like, "There's no way you're actively eating that." And for her asinine and her asinine, <laughs> 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 for, for, for both moments. Oh, uh, and then, so, and then lo, lo and behold, McDonald's was like, "I can do something with that," and they've made yeah. sweetie meals. And not only have they made sweetie meals, they have made their workers say one of her sayings mm. as they go into greeting them in the drive thru <laughs> Yeah, they picked the worst saying. Cause, cause, Cause they they could have said the tap 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 in and get the, the get get the, the sweetie, sweetie yeah, yeah. that would have been better. But What's they're the saying uh, I gotta find that's it. my best friend. There it is. Yes. Yeah. When they pull out, they're welcome like, that's to McDonald's. That's my best friend. Welcome to McDonald's. Funny, just a quick tangent. I make fun of my my sister works at a fast food spot, uh -huh. and they have to say um, she works at Canes, uh -huh. and they have to say like they have like. They have a list. She says they have a list of the plug. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get plugged. Like, <laughs> Let me get a twelve piece chicken. <laughs> Shout out, little sis. Shout hey, out, little you, sis. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. <laughs> Owner of the party. Owner of the party. Owner of the party. The fourth. This we got a fourth. We're, we're, we're going to come in with our cane tats. Oh, God. Like, oh. How y'all doing? We good. We're sharks? Right Who eats sharks anymore? Get that out of here. What? We yeah. fully down a with Raven King. Top of the sauce. Top of the sauce. I'm sorry. And no. the bread. Continue. Continue. But yeah, Continue. They have, they have, uh, she says they have a poster right next to the little drive through thing on the inside. Mm -hmm. It gives them a, a list of like 10 or 20 phrases that they could say when someone pulls up. Like, uh, welcome to, like, not the welcome to Caniacs, but they have to say some weird little, she usually brings the food to me, so I never go to the <laughs> drive-thru, so I can't remember off the top what they have to say, yeah. but it is always, like, some, like, funny little slogan that they have to. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to, here it is, here's the video, give me a second. <laughs> oh, shit, come on, come on, come on. That's my best friend. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I interest you in a sweetie meal? <laughs> that is the worst. That's Welcome to McDonald's. Can I interest you in a sweetie meal? That's my meal? best friend. You know dudes was yeah, that's, that's my homie. Yeah. That's, 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 that's my dog. <laughs> my friend. My acquaintance. McDonald's. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, McDonald's. Instantly, McDonald's, how can I help you? You ain't gonna no. How can I help you? Oh man, I had a terrible incident with the damn Burger King lady in the drive thru. Because it was a lady in front of us. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted a whopper for my OG. I, she took all day ordering. I'm like, come on, how do you not know what Burger King has on the menu at this point <laughs> in life? How do you still need to look at the Burger King menu? Ah. Uh, uh, but no, I go uh, up. <laughs> I go up there, and you know, they have the two for five, right? Yes, so sir. I say, it makes more sense. Let me get the two for five on the Whopper. They, we don't have the two for five no more. I was cool. Let me just get the one Whopper. And she says, what do you want for the other sandwich? I was like, what do you mean? She's like, oh, it's buy one, get one for a dollar. So me... Thinking of a master plan, I got to thinking. I was like, wait a minute. Why don't you just say two for six? <laughs> and you knew exactly what the hell I was. I meant, <laughs> but you <laughs> took this audacity <Yeah. laughs> to offer me the two for one 
knowing knowing what I talked about. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? You know what I came here for. Yeah, no. Don't act stupid. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't act stupid. <laughs> and now, because it, it runs in my family. Because my dad one time stumped the hell out of a McDonald's chick. Because he asked her, can we get a cheeseburger, no cheese? Oh, why would he and do she, that? I, I have no idea my why he did Why, why, why did he do time. that? Because my dad was an asshole <laughs> to people. So it was, it was hilarious. So I'm just like, okay. I'm not thinking nothing. I'm young. She had a whole math equation. You'd have asked her to, like, solve for X. <laughs> she called the manager. And the manager got a little stumped. It was like, sir, what do you mean? You're like, I want a cheeseburger, just no cheese. <laughs> and like I asked, he was like, you know why I said that? I was like, no, why? He was like, because I wanted to calculate the price of a slice of cheese. Oh, my God. <laughs> so all she had to do was ring me up for the hamburger. Yeah. And she didn't do that. <laughs> so you see what I'm like? Yo, <laughs> you're definitely running your family. Y'all <laughs> evil. <laughs> oh, but man. But yeah, will you be trying the sweet? No. I don't even. I don't remember that. I rarely, rarely go to McDonald's. I try to make it as few times as possible. That Hollywood and diet. Not even that. I think it's not it's even just true. I've been trying to lose weight, no. and, and 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 McDonald's is like here. It's back. Like yeah. <laughs> it's not even a. Uh, I don't think it's like they added anything. I think it's just like a regular meal. But the sweetie, the, the, the sauce. sweet and sour sauce it's called sweetie sour well, sauce. Well, Travis Scott threw bacon on a. <laughs> Double quarter pounder and thought it was like the wheel or so <laughs> sliced bread. Who knows? I was like, I've been did that. <laughs> Who knows at this point? It's funny, but whatever. But sweetie. we think, you know, shout out Sweetie. Shout, shout out Sweetie. Shout out Sweetie. Making, yeah. Hey, that's a, that's hey, a bad. she was grinding in that kitchen. She was. Facts. She was grinding. She, she was reminded me of something. I don't know what it reminded me much no, of. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> rest in peace to my good. pops. Uh, yeah, rest pops. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Happy belated birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy right, belated. All right, Pete Nip. Um, and I think that wraps it up. Stick around for our bonus episode. All right. yeah. We thank y'all for tuning in to yet another exhilarating yeah. installment. We are back, baby. Sorry yeah. for the wait again. Sorry for the wait. Sorry for the wait. Uh, uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to DM us. You can always DM us at friendly underscore fire on IG. You can also email us at friendlyfire2021 at gmail.com. Once again, friendlyfire2021 at gmail.com. Any artist, whatever your style of art is, you can send us the MP3 for it. If we like it, it will go up at the end of our podcast. Simple as that. Anything you guys got before we get up out of here? No. Uh, pod going in a new direction. We're going to start improving. I'm going to get this couch soon, hopefully. Yeah. We're going to get some new mics, some gear. Growth. We growing out here. Thank you for staying, Lord. Yeah. We thank y'all for, uh, we thank y'all for quick, a good five months. Real five quick, months. real quick. Uh, shout out to Vinny uh, from Jersey Shore. Yeah, wow. Shout out Vinny. He has amazing taste in women. Every time I go follow a chick, <laughs> every time I go follow a chick or like a chick, it's all, he or, he's the first one to like. He has yeah. notifications on for all these IG chicks. You know, <laughs> the, shout out to him, bro. Who, who's your top three celebs? Real quick before we get out of here, that do that. They be or, having all the chicks. Like when you oh, click on them, they follow. Oh, I'll say Vinny. He's oh, okay. under everyone. I've yet to miss. Um, Joe Budden is under Joe everybody. Budden. Really? Joe Budden's Mr. under everybody. Mr. Budden. Everybody on Instagram, Joe Budden. He Joe got, he got a list. He, I want to see his fantasy draft for it. For yeah, the for real. <laughs> I got a lot of hit from off him. I'm like, Damn, a third one. I, I do see a third one of that. Um, it's a rapper. Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Gibbs. Get Snoop Dogg be under oh Snoop Dogg. everyone, yes. bro. Yes. Snoop be under like sir, everyone. you are married. You got kids. You went through this before, Snoop. <laughs> what did you do? It's not even like popping chicks. It's like a chick with like twenty k followers. It's Snoop like, followers is right there. It's like yes, yeah, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop is Snoop right was there. All up in that. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's yeah. all, all, all like, around. Damn, What's your bro? Three? Like how am I supposed? It's to probably got to be Snoop, Freddie Gibbs, and Schoolboy Q. I got. I didn't even know about Schoolboy school Q. Be under a lot of people. I got. I got Snoop Drake. And, well, you said no, rappers, or you just said just people in general. Subs. Shaq be under a lot of people's stuff. Shaq, yeah. be, under Shaq be under a lot yeah. of people's stuff. Yeah, bro. Like I said, I, I see chicks with like 20k followers, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I hit her with a funny line, she'll respond at least. Maybe you know, get some conversation going. And and then I I go click on the follow, Snoop Dogg. She got, and I'm like, there's no way she's replying to me. <laughs> not on this planet. Because I've gotten like obviously they're not celebs, but I've gotten like TikTok chicks to respond to me, and and they got like millions of followers on on TikTok, like uh -huh. a couple like. 20, 30K followers on Insta, and I've gotten, like, to conversate with a couple of them. Obviously, they, they always live out of state and shit. No, no popular TikTok broads right. in Chicago. But To my knowledge, no. But, yeah, so sometimes I'm like, you know, I'm feeling daring. You know, there's nothing to hurt. <laughs> and then and then I'll, I see Snoop Dogg, and I'm like, all right. You know, looking, I'm scrolling to the next. I'd be looking sick on the phone. I'd be, oh, two, 200 and likes. Vinny. There's a chance. And I, Vinny. Snoop Dogg and 270 other people like this. I was, ah. <laughs> so before we get up out of here. Uh, speaking of DMs and what Jay Crowder randomly DM this random white girl Aww. shooting his shot. He was like, "Hey, love, you have my attention. Send me your snap, please." 
Sorry, I don't know if you're into black guys or not. Yeah. This is this not. She's that's, not. That's, she's not ugly, but this is the woman that she that he no, DM. No, but that's a corny pickup line. Well, I mean, Jake, I don't know if you like Jake Howard has shot his shot, and we decent. saw in the playoffs how that worked <laughs> out. So yeah. I mean, I mean, she's decent. I mean, I'm sure. So like, of all the ways to snap somebody, you know, I mean, you're Jay Crowder. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure NBA player Jay Crowder. Could think of some yeah. a better even, way to get into even, the DM. Hey, love. <laughs> hey, All you have to love, do is, right? is, is, hey, what's up? She's going to see the blue check mark. She might not know who you are. She'll click on it. She'll see you dunking on somebody. Or shooting a three or, or, or shooting something. It, or defending something. You'll but, see an NBA picture. Yeah. 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 You see what I'm saying? And, like, so you don't have that's to. That's enough. You don't even have to say it. You just say, hey, what's up? It don't even matter if you're black it. or white at that point. You got the blue check. Blue check. <laughs> but yeah, so we thank y'all for tuning we in. Thank y'all and stay tuned. I can't wait to stay be tuned. I already got a list. On behalf of my <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna oh, be on someone else's celebrity yes, list. Yes, yes. I'm gonna oh, be like, fighting yes. with Snoop Dogg. We gonna see each other at <laughs> the Grammys. Hey, stop that. I'm be hey. I had hey chill. <laughs> I seen Abigail underscore nine I'm, nine. I'm that talk, was mine. <laughs> I'm a, hey, ain't nothing but a G thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we thank y'all for tuning in.